This section of the Start Making Biodiesel DVD illustrates the transistorification process. Now, let's take a look at the atoms that make up biodiesel. Most organic molecules consist of oxygen, carbon, and hydrogen. These three atoms are all it takes to create methanol, vegetable oil, and the methyl esters or biodiesel that we'll be making today. Now let's take a look at the transesterification process. We will combine methanol and sodium hydroxide or lye to create a negatively charged basic solution. This environment helps activate the methanol by deprotonation, making it into a negatively charged methoxide molecule. The reason why we dry the biodiesel before this process is because any water in the solution will interfere with this process, causing soaps and other side products to be formed instead of biodiesel. Just like opposite poles of a magnet are drawn to each other, these negatively charged methoxide molecules will attack a positively charged carbon atom between the fatty acid and the glycerol backbone of the oil molecules. And much like a dancer torn between two partners, the fatty acid must leave the glycerol backbone behind, forming a methyl ester with the methanol molecule. This process is known as transesterification. This process continues until the remaining fatty acids are removed from the glycerol backbone. The remaining glycerol molecule is very polar and will form a dense black layer with the other charged molecules in the solution. The newly formed methyl esters will form an uncharged, neutral, yellow liquid on top. The final solution of your biodiesel should be 7 because the methyl esters of biodiesel are uncharged. For more information, check out our website at www.startmakingbiodiesel.com.